4.05 a.m. And I'm making oatmeal. Why am I like this? I don't know why I'm so hungry right now. I can't sleep. Like it was all I was thinking about. I could not sleep. We just honor all of our hunger cues. That's just what we do here. So, if you're craving oatmeal at 4 a.m., you eat oatmeal at 4 a.m. Okay. This was exactly what I needed. Literally stunning. Stunning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia. If you're new here, um, today I'm going to just be talking about my goals for 2021. It's a new year um, and I made some goals and I want to share them with you and I want to hear some of yours too. So going into the new year, I like to just set up at least like five long-term goals that i want to keep throughout the whole year so once the year is over i can look back and um say i achieved these five goals by the end of 2021 i want to look back and be like yeah she did that she really did that um but yeah that's like a habit i want to start implementing is just writing down five goals at the beginning of each year because i feel like with new year resolutions those just don't really stick they're kind of pointless in my opinion but like five long-term goals i feel like is just more attainable for me so i'm going to share with you guys what those goals are all right so my first goal for 2021 is that i really want to just focus on investing in myself like fully um and i want to do this by reading more i am a terrible reader i told myself during quarantine that i was gonna read like a bunch of books and i barely got to one um but i just recently um ordered some new books i really just want to expand my mind and just keep learning and i feel like reading will be good for me so reading i want to be listening to as many podcasts as i can whether that's listening to them in the background while i'm cleaning my room going on more walks and listening to podcasts um just whenever i'm able to just put on a podcast in the car because i feel like i do learn so much from podcasts right now my favorites are manifestation babe the skinny confidential ed milet um those are the three that come to mind but i'm always looking for new recs so let me know your favorites leave a comment of your favorite podcast because i always get that question and it's always the same ones and i'm always looking for new ones also the emma chamberlain one that's called um anything goes i love that one she's i'm just obsessed with emma but she's just so knowledgeable it amazes me and another way i want to invest in myself this year is by Hopefully becoming a holistic nutritionist, not nutritionist, holistic health coach. Um, obviously wellness and intuitive eating and just all things health is one of my passions. And I feel like the more I learn about it, the more I want to expand and grow. And I just love genuinely learning about all things health. So I think that that would be an amazing opportunity to just dive into by becoming a holistic health coach. Um, definitely want to do that. Number two might sound silly to some people, okay, but I feel like this will really help me mentally. So number two is turn off all my notifications except for texts and calls. And I want to do this because I feel like 
by having all my notifications on it really just takes me away from being present especially like let's say I'm at the gym and you know I see a notification I'll go onto that notification and then I'll be on my phone for like 10 minutes and I'll lose my groove like I'm not trying to do that I just feel like it takes away from being present and I feel like by turning off all my notifications I'll have more time to do what I need to do because your girl can spend some time on her phone let me tell you and I did this for like a month and it really helped me so I feel like doing it the full whole year just having all my notifications off and only having texts and calls obviously for like emergencies and stuff like that I feel like will really help me mentally so that is number two number three is to travel so obviously covid she's still here but i do have hope for 2021 i really do think that things can only get better from here so obviously safely like i want to be able to travel even if it's just like a little road trip whatever it is i just want again i'm just really hoping for the best this year that's just how I'm going into it. I feel like that's the best way to go into it is that things are going to change. They will change. And that's just my mentality. Number four is to grow my account, continue making content. Like I told you guys in my q and I am taking a year off of school. So for that reason... I can't believe I'm taking a year off of school. So for that reason, I really just want to dive into making content because this is truly what I love doing. This is what I, this is where my joy comes from is just like helping people, being a light and sharing my story, my experiences like, and while doing that, I'm helping people like it just fills me up, bro. It literally fills me up and I can't wait for the fam to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We have family. Like this community is seriously everything to me so just imagining it being even bigger than it is now is like overwhelming but like also like makes me so excited because I freaking love you guys and the more the merrier and number five is to freaking save I've had a very weird relationship with money I had a bad habit of literally spending almost every paycheck at my old job um, where I would just like not let myself spend any money at all but this year I really want to focus on prioritizing saving but as well as the 10 10 10 rule which I learned from manifestation babe love you Catherine that girl has helped me in so many ways already if you haven't listened to manifestation babe what are you doing um no but seriously so basically the 10 10 10 rule is you spend 10 save 10 and give 10 10 percent is what i mean um so giving 10 could be to like a charity to a homeless person like whoever you decide is a good cause good person to give your 10 percent to the 10 that you're investing is you're investing into yourself so that's like treating yourself getting your nails done getting your eyelashes done getting a new outfit whatever makes you feel good whatever you want to do going to a nice dinner and getting whatever you want um i feel like is important to always treat yourself especially if you're working hard like you deserve it period um and then saving 10 percent. obviously you know it's good to always save money i should have been practicing that more but we changed in that in 2021 um but yeah those are my like five main big goals that i think that i'm really gonna be able to achieve this year and i really want to stick to so yes i just feel like 2020 was filled with so much self-realization self-reflection um i definitely got to know myself a lot more but i feel like also like that doesn't stop in 2021 like there's still so much more I want to keep learning about myself and keep growing and expanding and I'm just so excited for this year like I know it's gonna be a good one no matter what's happening in the world I'm just gonna use what I have and make the most of it and I feel like that's that should be everyone's mentality is like okay 2020 was obviously a hard year for everyone um, but my outlook is that it can only get better from here you just have to work with what you have and 
and just making the daily choice that I am going to have a good day today. I am going to keep growing and keep learning and keep doing what I need to do for myself to be content and be joyful. And I'm choosing joy today. Dang, those self-affirmations every morning are really kicking in. So yeah, those are my goals of the year. Let me know yours. If they're big, small, I don't care. Just leave a comment of at least one of your goals for 2021 because you guys inspire me as well. Don't think it's just me inspiring. No, it's, I'm learning from everyone. So let me know some of your goals and cheers to 2021 being the best damn year of our lives it's going to be a good year i know it you have to repeat that to yourself this is going to be the best year of my life this is going to be the best year of my life capiche capiche okay these are the books i'm currently reading this one is the one i post on my story like all the time if you're following me on instagram they just have like little, um, it's like a little devotional. It'll have like a little um, devotion and it's just very like inspiring. Like I freaking feel so inspired every time I read this in the morning. I'll try and read it like first thing in the morning and it literally just makes me feel so inspired every time. So highly recommend this. I got it off of Amazon. This is a book I just got you probably know what it is it's all about manifestation and law of attraction um, I just started reading it and I'm already so hooked you guys like if you're trying to dive deeper into manifestation or any of that stuff highly recommend starting with this book because I'm learning so much and this book I have not started yet but it actually um, Delaney Childs actually posted it on her story and really highly recommended it so i decided to get it i will read this after i'm done with this baby because we're starting slow again i'm not a reader um but yeah and then i'm open to any other book suggestions really just trying to dive deeper into um just like self reflection self self-help books all of that i'm really trying to learn more about there's so many things i want to do like i'm so excited for this year 